Hawaiian Aeronautical Company, builder of the world-famous Fire B jet-powered aerial target plane, was called on by the Navy to design and build a waterborne counterpart to the aerial target drone. Requirements of this target included presentation characteristics that would simulate hostile PT boats. This development followed the incident in the late summer of 1964 at Tonkin Gulf, in which two American destroyers were attacked by hostile torpedo boats. Responding to this requirement, Ryan Design Engineers produced the completely remote-controlled 17-foot Firefish in record time. By early 1965, a prototype Firefish had undergone extensive evaluation and production models were on the way. Ryan Engineers have developed a sophisticated yet simple control system compatible with shipboard electronics. This system consists of a completely transistorized receiver decoder unit with 20 channels, 10 of which are utilized for firefish operations. A corner radar reflector is rigged atop an aluminum mast supplementing conventional shipboard search and radar tracking devices. Firefish's control system embodies a rudder servo, throttle actuator, autopilot assemblies, power junction box, and command receiver with interconnecting wire harnesses and cabling used in remote control functions. Solid state circuitry in the autopilot develops a direction of rotation signal corresponding to the difference between the actual heading and the commanded heading. Firefish has a gross weight of 1,650 pounds. Its fiberglass reinforced hull, designed for loads up to 25 G-forces, follows a deep V configuration for open sea stability. Flotation blocks are sealed in the bilges and strapped to the deck, providing buoyancy if hit during gunfire exercises. Design engineers at Bryan provided Firefish with a minimum six-mile radar acquisition range. However, it has been successfully tracked, fired upon, and killed at distances up to 12 miles. It is also designed for minimum control ranges of up to six miles. Yet operational exercises have repeatedly demonstrated much wider range control capabilities. Firefish is powered by a four-cylinder, four-cycle, 120-horsepower gasoline engine with a 15-inch, three-bladed propeller capable of driving the boat at 30 knots. Power is transmitted to the propeller through a stern-drive tilt-up unit, which allows placing the boat on the ship's deck without the need of a cradle or special fixture. Two 19-gallon fuel tanks provide six hours of cruising time at alternating speeds and four hours at the 30-knot top speed. Demonstrated operational capabilities have been conducted in sea states two and three at speeds of 20 knots. A sea canopy snaps down over the gunnels to ensure water tightness during operational use. The Firefish is equipped with running lights and a high-intensity white light for night operations. The white light can be turned on for controller's periodic identification and also automatically comes on if loss of carrier occurs. Portability is another of Firefish's significant assets. A single lifting ring is located on the center line for general boat handling. Standard cargo booms or boat davit equipment can be employed through the use of the lifting ring. Shipboard forklifts, rollers, or other standard deck handling equipment can facilitate shipboard handling. A quantity of firefish have been delivered by Ryan to units in the Atlantic and Pacific fleets where exercise tactics are currently being updated. Firefish target systems are in operational use by the U.S. Navy today as the newest and most effective surface gunnery exercise concept yet devised. The operational concept in which firefish plays the major role was developed under the direction of Commander, Training Command, Pacific. Pacific Fleet Firefish operations are currently assigned to Utility Squadron 1 at Pearl Harbor, 3 at San Diego, and 5A at Cuby Bay, Philippine Islands. 
Atlantic Fleet operations are conducted by Destroyer Development Group 2 and Cruiser Destroyer Flotilla 4 at Newport, Rhode Island. Within the spectrum of potential applications of Firefish lies a wide range of training exercise concepts well beyond those in which it is currently engaged, including air-to-surface exercises, multiple target presentation, and payloads above 1,000 pounds. Firefish capabilities are limited only by your imagination. 